welcome to IT Boost YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to make a gauge chart using Excel. So I have opened the Excel sheet and I have prepared the uh, data for the gauge chart. So here I have three levels in my gauge chart. Low, it's 0 to 20 is low from 2250 right 2250 it's mean 21 to 50 that is medium uh, greater than 50 up to uh, 100 51 to 100 that is high level here you can enter you are going to enter your exact values according to the exact value the gauge chart uh, have to show the indication so here we have to create two charts so this is the data for the donut chart this is the data for the pie chart so for the donut chart the data is coming here that is equal to a2 equal to low that is the low level right so in uh, here see the, the formula we have to type equal a2 and press enter and this data is equal to b2 B2, this B2 minus A6, this one, B2 minus A6. So here type equal B2 minus A6, enter. Right. Or you can subtract from 50 to 20, that is the uh, second value. The third value is C2 minus B6 minus A6. Right. It means here yeah, equal C2 minus A6 minus uh, B6. Enter. So this is 100 totally, and another 100 we have to make it to 200, a full circle. So, so the half circle we have to create a half circle for our uh, gauge chart. So we have to make it half. 200 so half of the value is going to be this that's why I am making this one 200 total so the data is for the uh, data is for the pie chart or we will first create this one so we will what I do I will select the data I will go to insert I will select insert pie or donut chart and I will create a donut chart so this, this is the uh, donut chart so we don't need this title we don't need to keep at the moment just i'll delete it i feel that one is no need this also i'll delete and we have to rotate this one this is the uh, 100 the yellow is 100 percent right? so we have to turn that one so select this inside portion it's so mean actually it's the series point right click format data series and here turn the angle turn the angle to 270 degrees right so the below half the bottom half we don't need so select the bottom half see this go to fill no fill no line also for that one now select this one for this one we we need the fill but no line better to make it no line it's also select no line Select this one also, make it no line. Right, again go to this chart and increase, uh, reduce the donut hole size. So you can make that a little bit thicker. I'll make it around 50 or 50. I'll make it 50 percent. According to your size, you can make it. So this is the thickness of the meter. Uh, or we can reduce some. Uh, yeah, they'll keep it like that. Now if you want you can change the color, select this part and go to fill, select the color I made that is the low portion, here the low red, select this one and for the medium, that is the medium, select this one for the high, select the green, right, then select colors you can select however you want. 
So this is the donut chart we made. Now we have to make another chart for the needle. Actually that is for the needle. That is a pie chart. That, so that is the data for this one. So here E2 E2 minus 2. E2 mean this is the E2 where you are going to enter the value, exact value because they are, we are going to give the needle size is 2. This is the needle size. I am giving the needle size 2. From the 60, the needle, the end, uh, end of the needle should be. So I am reducing that. So E2, E2 minus 2. That is the needle size. Right? So you have to type equal E2 minus uh, 2. Right? And this is the needle size 2. That is the exact size. right? When you put 1, it's too small. When you go 3, it will become... Uh, two big, so two is the better one. This is the angle here. This is D6. D6. So this is the rest of the thing. D6 into 2 into 2, right? It's mean 100 into 2 minus A9 minus A9 and the needle size because the needle should be reduced, right? To the size. So you are subtracting the 60. We have to subtract altogether 60. So, uh, so multiplying by this 100 and reducing the subtracting the size according to the needle. Right. So I will select this data. I will go to insert. I will select uh, pie chart, 2D pie chart. I will select the series and right click. Uh, format data series and this one also I rotated to 270 right here now select the, this portion and go to fill what we don't need the fill we don't need the line also select this one no fill no line now select the needle here we can give a, a no fill a no line we'll change the color to a blue or we'll change it to a dark blue that is the needle size Okay, that's all. Now we can delete this one. We can delete this one and bring this chart right at the same position of this, right? And select this one, the whole area, and click fill and make it no fill. Now fine here. So when you enter here 60, it's 60. We want to enter uh, uh, 15. Yeah, nice. So it's given a nice effect. 40, uh, 40 uh, or 35. 75. Right. So here also you can change your medium. If I change the low is uh, 40, less than 40, and the medium is 60, and this is also. Uh, so it's going to be uh, 40. Uh, sorry, that will be totally uh, 7170. No? Right, so 20. So that is, we'll make this one uh, 30, uh, 30 or 40. So increase by 20. Here we will uh, make this one. 60. Right. So we will keep that 100. Same like this. So that is 75. So when I make this one 80, it's 80. When you make this one 50, it's 50, medium. When I make it 35, so like that we can make the gauge chart. So try this one. I hope you enjoyed the video and understood how to make a gate chart in Excel. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and like and comment what you see on your feedback so that encourage us and support to give more videos.